This is Twit. Uh, sticking with Raspberry Pi, there is something else new. This one is not from Waveshare, though. There is something new this week from Raspberry Pi themselves, and it's uh, also not running Linux. Um, Raspberry Pi has announced the Pi Radio Module 2, and uh, it is it is on sale for a whopping four dollars a piece and this is i will i will tell you there is this is this is super interesting we're going to get there but first let me tell you what this thing is actually doing and what it's for um it is a little tiny embedded radio that gives you wi-fi and bluetooth and that's it that is all it is it is their little spin on uh the infineon cyw43439 and it's just a it's a pcb with this radio on top of it and then a can on top of that and, uh, you know, you can build it, you make, make a design that takes this exact footprint and then build this little PCB, drop it on there, solder it in and you get radio, right? You get, you can have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on your, on your device, which is cool. Like the ability to do that is really neat. Um, but this is, this is really fascinating to me because they're making this thing available commercially. Uh, and so you can buy it. You get, they, they're releasing a data sheet for it. You can buy it uh, from places like um, SparkFun, it looks like, and some others. And so, you know, this is going to be a commercially available product. And I tell you why that's so interesting to me. And that is because they also have the RP, well, they have the RP1 and the RP2. Um, I think it's the RP1 is the one that I'm really, yeah, the RP1. This is a, this is something that's been intriguing to me for a very long time. This is their C, their their chip. It's a like an I/O expander, really, but it takes um, all the, the the name of it. Uh, not NVMe, the PCI Express. It takes a PCI Express lane and breaks it out into essentially the forty pin header on the Raspberry Pi. Okay, so something that. Some of us that do embedded work have really wanted to see for a long time is essentially the RP1 chip on a desktop sized uh, expansion board because all of our desktops have um, these PCI Express lanes. You could you could steal a PCI Express lane and then have essentially a 40 pin and they could do you know they could do support for it in the Linux kernel and you would have the ability to have a 40 pin Raspberry Pi header on a desktop or a laptop, like that would be very cool. So I wanna see that and to, to make that happen, either Raspberry Pi themselves has to come out with it or they have to make the RP1 available. And uh, the, this this story about the Wi-Fi chip really intrigues me because it is a step in the direction of Raspberry Pi is thinking about making all of their special chips and things available for people to use in other projects. And so maybe we are st- we maybe we have a future in front of us where we get to do some of these really cool things with, you know, chips like the RP one. I would oh, I would love to see that. That would be very cool. It would be super cool. No, no. With the uh, Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi radios, are pretty much fixed. You wouldn't be able to reprogram the frequencies they use, would you? I would imagine. So here's the thing. A lot of these little chips anymore are, um, they're software defined radio, but a lot of them anymore also are very difficult to put firmware on. Like you can only run signed firmware. So like, is it physically possible to reprogram this thing to be able to get access to a few other frequencies or, you know, other protocols, probably technically, but is anyone going to actually be able to do it? Probably not. Um, and I don't, I don't know how this is implemented, you know, how low level it is. Uh, I don't. I don't even think that they specify. You know what um, what protocol it talks over. Um, you know, it's probably something like um, MDIO. I think is one of the ones that's typical for these things to talk over. It could be SPI. It could be I squared C. I mean, who knows? I can I can try to find out. But so it probably would not be the option if you wanted to build, use a Raspberry Pi to replace an old radio. Uh, remote control? Probably not. No, probably can't do that. And I don't know if I've got the patience to mess with ESP32. Oh, it's fun though. I have I've very much enjoyed my my trip into the embedded world and writing things in uh, C++ for embedded. It's, it's fun. You occasionally run into 
undocumented bugs where things like standard no, features, sort undocumented features mm, <laughs> when standard sort causes crashes on embedded but it works just fine on your linux desktop i wouldn't call that a feature that's no, a zero day spon spontaneous reboots of of your embedded devices is not a feature no no not for me uh, microsoft calls those features i guess Hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little clip from our programming at twit.tv. For more, visit our website, twit.tv, or subscribe in your favorite podcast client. There's also a link somewhere down there. <laughs>